positive news, boys. The future looks bright because Microsoft just laid off 1,900 Wait. Activision, Blizzard, and <laughs> Xbox employees. <laughs> Uh, okay. he, he played a trick on us, Jeff. <laughs> That's I what was he's fooled doing. the whole time. <laughs> uh, Blizzard president Mike Yabara oh has also decided to leave, and Blizzard's survival game has been canceled. The <laughs> gaming news looks bright in 2024. Boys, we're off to a great start. Microsoft is primarily laying off roles at Activision Blizzard. But some Xbox and ZeniMax employees have also been impacted by the cuts. So all of you Activision Blizzard, remember when that merger when they were buying each other and they were in court for ten years? It was all so that they could lay off nineteen hundred employees. That's how they paid their legal fees. I don't understand. I just yeah, that's how they did it. But it's not just my. It's not just Microsoft and Activision Blizzard. You know, Riot Games uh, this week laid off five hundred something people mm-hmm. and then jeff w put up a, an interesting excel sheet of co- all these video game companies that are laying off their employees yeah this is uh that list i just put up in fact you can maybe save that yeah. and put on the notes Throw um, this up on the screen jeff can you or trent it's a uh, layoffs.fyi uh and i sorted it for everything after uh first the first of this year and and like Rob was saying, you there's quite a bit. You know, there's some non-US stuff on the top ten list, so this list tracks a lot of stuff. But um, yeah, you know, Twitch laid off 500 people, right? 1800, Wayfair 1600. Sorry, uh, even Discord laid off almost 200 people. Um, yeah, it's kind of a it's been a brutal year if you're on the uh, on the chopping block. I feel like you know, I don't. Uh, Discord and Google aside, mm-hmm. we're a video game podcast after all. But <laughs> sucks sucks for everybody who got fired at uh, in, in Moby. Um, I wonder why why this trend is going this way. I feel like, and of course, I'm just an outsider looking in to the snow globe here. But video games are as popular as they've ever been. So it's not mm-hmm. like these video game companies are having a hard time. It's a, it's a multi-billion dollar company. Video games make more money than movies and music industry combined. So I don't really under, of course, again, I'm not in these, in the business. So I'm just speaking from the outside, but it's wild that there can be so many layoffs in this field. Yeah. And, and especially, you know, our next stuff we're going to talk about here in a minute, you know, those, these kind of things pop up and really feed the industry. So you wonder how, like, how do, how do they struggle so much to keep people? And and I will say from the Blizzard aspect, I think Blizzard has been dog shit for a few years now, at least. Uh, They've been kind of trending down. I mean, I think Diablo, you know, kind of showed up and then, you know, ate shit pretty quickly. Um, Overwatch 2, it was a pretty bad idea. Um, they haven't really done anything with WoW that that has been, you know, amazing for the franchise uh, in, a, in a, quite some time. Um, I feel like Blizzard's kind of on a downtrend. So when they have like, you know, uh, I did see a quote from you know Mikey Barra, um, or when he got he got canned, and there was somebody one of the one of the journalists I had to find it were saying that when they last spoke to him that you know he was going to stay at Blizzard you know, somebody would have to pry him out of there because he wanted to stay. Mm-hmm. And it's like those guys, the top guys, these names we've seen for years at Blizzard, I'm more than happy really to see those people gone. Cause I think it's, I don't think it's trending in the right way. Um, but everybody lower level, it's kind of like, this is especially shitty. Uh, you don't think like, <laughs> I don't think anybody here would have their, company bought by microsoft and then you assume oh no now i'm fucked Nineteen thousand <laughs> of you are gone <laughs> yeah like you think now now i'm i'm screwed now that microsoft bought us you know you'd think they'd have a little bit of a uh, extra change to keep people employed but yeah i mean it's just kind of gross really uh and really really sucks for uh 
people who make these games that we love, you know? So it's been about yeah. three months since that merger and <laughs> roughly 8% of Microsoft's overall 22,000 employees have been cut. Womp, yeah. womp. <laughs> yeah, it was all over my Twitter feed today. Uh, and you, the last few days with Riot and everybody else, just people going, yeah, just found out I got fired too, so if anybody has a job. <laughs> I've seen so many of those those dang uh, tweets. It just sucks. It sucks. Um, but if any of those uh, designers want to come work pro bono for the Sandbox Gamers. Mm -hmm. Right.